you know, two months. Maybe I had the coronavirus, maybe I, I stay stuck at home and now I am in the Red Cross. I had chills and diarrhea too, and slightly. Exactly, same symptoms was in January. I've lost like uh, five kilos, and, uh, but I didn't know, I didn't know. Did I appreciate the letter, Latin? I know you. Yes, I will, I will write an email to her for sure. We are lucky we all are alive, for sure. And thank God my mom, you know, when I was sick, I was in my house alone. My mom didn't come to take care of me because, you know, because she's, she, she's 86 years old and, uh, and she didn't come, but thank God. Because uh, 86 years old, is, if you take the virus, bye bye guys, for sure. I don't know what you're saying. In some ways, I'll probably be a good thing. You did already have it. I think so. I'm not sure if I if I had it or not. You know, it's just uh, what I think. But it could be. Greetings from out in Greece. Thank you very much. I hope in Greece the situation is uh, okay, under control at least. And so we are going into the phase two. Look at that. You see, I don't want to take, I wonder how long it will take to get your test result back. I don't think long because, uh, you know, a couple of days. I, when I have the results, I will uh, share it. My doctor is still alive, so maybe it was just a bad cold. I don't know because some people have uh, have the virus with no symptoms so you know there are stories here of people that have strokes go to the hospital and discover to have covid but they are asymptomatic so the, the symptoms are it, it doesn't can't understand an italian dog <laughs> me either <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's so nice to be out, guys, in the in a beautiful park. You can have a heart attack and never know it until you have... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of stories of uh, people like a man, the father of a friend of mine. He was... He's uh, almost 75, something like that. He had a stroke. He went to the hospital. They discovered he had uh, COVID, but with no symptoms. jumping on it's still really bad over there well it's still uh, it's it's getting better in or in the old country apart from milano what a relief what it's the beautiful park here but you see a lot of uh, cars outside a lot of bodies it's true a lot of bodies was a, a terrible situation. Apple Watch two weeks ago and now I take the... <laughs> uh, it was the parking... No, uh, not on leash, no. No, because here you can, uh, you can go with the dogs... Uh, well, now you, you should take... You should use the leash, you are right. Was not. But the dog was very old. It was very slow. No, it's not on leash. What kind of work? Uh, now, for the COVID, I am in the donation office. But then it will change. It's just for the emergency. We will see in the future. Oh, I feel the, the you know, nice breeze, air. It's beautiful. Will be the owner needed to come too close to you to regain control of dog. There are a lot of. You know, have you seen how crazy some US want in the country open? I know, Bom dia. I know, it's crazy. We don't know anything. You see this. The owner. 
they are the owner is old he has the mask but doesn't wear it and the dog is uh, it's crazy to start again because uh, if you have infected we do not if we don't have the cure it's the cleanest air we will ever breathe in our lifetime it is so true it's the cleanest air we can breathe i'm sure i'm sure yes i am italian i am italian he has the mask but he doesn't wear, wear it why why man why he's going to sit in front of me to see blue skies in india and venice uh, uh, you know with uh, not polluted <laughs> waters the canals and uh, I can see the sky, I can see rabbits in front of my eyes. Italians are racist? N well, no, uh, I'm not, for example, and I am against racism. But, you know, everybody, people, uh, there are good people, bad people, you cannot. Nice to catch you live, you take care. Thank you, John, you and your family too. We follow each other on social media. And I hope to see you in Asia soon, but I know it's not gonna, happen but I hope so I want to travel to come back soon ciao miss you too John thank you those people are not just in the cell I know they are endangering everybody it's a terrible situation people don't understand we can't be selfish in this situation we cannot I will it will soon I hope so John we like to travel so put the prayers sorry I can't see what you said I will put Milan on the prayers chain thank you very much very kind of you you know we are all one and the same it's stupid to be selfish here if one people is sick is sick all the people are going to be sick San Francisco masks are mandatory that's another stupid silly things masks are very important we call this one the, um, you know, there are altruistic masks and egoistic masks, selfish masks, because this one protects uh, other from you, not you from others. The N90, it's the selfish one because uh, <laughs> you breathe out the germs. And, uh, uh, but, you know, if we all wear this, there is no problem, we all are, are protected. Come va la summa? È andata meglio a Milano, diciamolo. Do you think eventually everyone will get COVID? Maybe, and maybe it's the only solution to get rid of the virus. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't know if I have it, I don't know if I will, uh, if this will finish soon. And uh, unfortunately our immune system provides them we, we, yeah they say but it's not so easy it's not so easy our immune system will need to produce antibodies for sure that's what i'm going to to, te to test in the next days in the red cross let's hope to produce these antibodies to become immune you know from from this say it's fell in the u.s worse than now I know the situation, you know, and uh, we are comparing Italy to the US, but US uh, it's like Europe because Italy is a small country to produce antibody for different coronavirus. That's another stuff because every string, the strings change, you know, the, the COVID in uh, China is not the same of the COVID in Italy. That's another reality. Our community is providing immunity herbs free that's that's good at least you are trying to protect yourself and share volontario ah sei anche tu volontario della croce rossa grande dove the viral change is yeah it's a real mess maybe we need it i'm thinking we'll not cancel our holiday reservation to france in september too risky i think so i think it's not the, you know i think we are we are going to to be like that and or and a Torino, you a Milano. And you know what? Um, 
the, the situation is going to restart a little bit maybe in uh, September, October, autumn, fall with the next uh, cold. So the, like the flu is coming, maybe the COVID is coming again. So we are stuck. We will be stuck. We will not travel. And uh, second wave in fall. I think so. It can, it can happen. And you know what? Our countries, all the countries need our money. We don't need to travel right now because it's too dangerous. We share the virus and our countries need our money also to support, you know, the activities, the touristic activities, the hotel, the stuff. So at least uh, let's try to help our countries in this way, not traveling, but giving the money.